everybody, my name is Brian Elvine, and welcome to today's video on how uh, page authors can use the style system. Uh, so for those who are not as familiar with the style system, uh, the system allows, uh, let's say, a template author to define uh, predefined CSS classes and the overall policy of the page so that when a content author, uh, that's going to be our um, use case for today, is editing a component on the page, and they're able to modify modify the uh, visual uh, aspect of a component, uh, which you know allows them to easily uh, change the look and feel of the page based off those predefined classes. So I've implemented the title or the style system on the title component. So if I select my title component, I can see that there is a paintbrush option or a paintbrush icon, which is going to be our style uh, system. So if I select it, there's a few different options we can work with. Uh, one of these styles we, get, or we define already is an underline. So if we want to add an underline to this title component, we can just select it and then it's going to appear uh, automatically, indicated by that, uh, that yellow line is going to be our underline for this component. Um, but then I can also apply multiple styles. So if I wanted to align this title to the right, I could do that as well. If I wanted to change the color, or color on gray, maybe I want to make it black, I can do that as well. So we can uh, change, add things like underlines, probably italicize if we wanted to change, give our authors a few different color options to work with for the titles as well. So hopefully uh, that provides a really simple overview of what the style system looks like from a page uh, author perspective. And that's going to wrap today's video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please give it a like, uh, make sure to subscribe and have a nice day. Thank you.